Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Arietta of Spirits. Last time we left off, we made it here to the mines. We did not start exploring it yet, but we are here. Ah, you bastard, come here. Uh-uh, you die. Death. Death to bat. Alright, we're good. Let's explore the rest of the mine. Or the all of the mine, because like I said, it never started before. Oh, that's a big boy. It's a big lad right there. Guard rumor. Oh yeah, you're one of these. Yeah. You were weird. There you go. Dead. Oh yeah, now I gotta break your thingy and then kill you. There you go. Have a happy afterlife. All right, so we gotta find uh, what was it? It's like a miner's helmet, right? Yeah, yeah, we gotta find a miner's helmet, and um, we have three of the spirit cubs left, and I have the final rumor core. Uh, ominous. Okay, so I got to go down uh, these other paths and pull those levers, I guess. I don't know how else I would get up there. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh. Hi. You're like barely worth it, but I'll kill you anyway. Aha! Yes! Only need two more of those. Like I said, I can't guarantee I'll find all of those, but I only need two more. Things are looking pretty good. I'll be pretty happy if I do manage to get them all. Uh-uh. Quit that. You stop that. Sheena. There we go. Yeah, those guys can be very, very annoying if they uh, actually live long enough. Because, God, those homing things, they home so far. They home so far. It's ridiculous. Okay. Ow. Uh. Uh. All right, we're good. I keep thinking I'm gonna roll off the edge because of a different game that I've played. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, but yeah, I keep thinking I'm gonna roll off the edge because of a different game I've played where you could roll off the edge. Um, and everything. Uh, it was a roguelike that I played on my own time actually called Undermine. And uh, you could roll off the edge and God, it was annoying. And it happens so often. Okay, I thought that was one of the... That's just like a weird crack or bone in the wall. I thought that was one of the secret walls. I thought that's what it was. But I was wrong. And that is my mistake. That is my mistake. Alright. Yeah, I should have known with where it was that it wasn't a secret wall because it's... I don't even know if you can get to that spot. But I thought maybe I could hit it from over here and then it would open something up. Oh well. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yep, oh, nothing else down there. Alrighty. What do we got? A lot of pickaxes. Ooh, is this where I'm gonna find the helmet? Those look like those could be the helmets, right? Hmm. I can't break sacks of whatever that is. Uh-huh. Ow. I should really just dodge those. It's not feasible to do the guard the entire time, I think. It is neat that those guys are, uh... They're, they're a lot more interesting to fight, because you gotta do a lot of stuff for them. You gotta dodge their attacks, block their attacks, and you gotta finish them off with the thingy. Just feels cool. Is that the mining helmet? It certainly looks like one. Oh my god, look! It's not actually placed on the table, it's just a texture over the table in a different layer, and I can walk into that layer because I'm in a separate layer. Ha 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 ha. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Nothing. Alright guys, I really need um, this mining helmet. Whenever you're ready to give it to me. I would happily accept it. What is that? Kind of, okay, they're turrets. That's what they are. 
Now we we walked into the wrong area. Okay. Jeez. Wrong neighborhood. Oh my god. Alright. Boom. Gotcha. Oh my god. No, stop hitting the stupid stalactites. I just want to break the barrels. Ugh. Leave me alone. Oh yeah. Let's just do this. Yeah. You pause for so long though that it doesn't really even feel feasible to do that. Huh. Jesus. Jesus. They shoot so much. Oh my god. Another one. Oh my god. We just need one more. That is all. We just need one more of the little shits. And we will have gotten them all. Come on, there's like 50 mining helmets that I've seen, right? Those are totally mining helmets. Why can't we just grab one of those and be on our way? God, yeah, those turrets are nuts, man. They shoot so fast. They're like little Gatling guns. I'm just a ch small child, okay? I can't be dealing with Gatling gun turrets. HP, please. Uh, very good. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's the homing ones. Jeez. These guys are annoying, man. Ah. Trick. Boom. Dead. That guy was a jerk. He shot me with like his last ounce of life. That one too! Jeez. Boom, boom, boom. Uh. Alright. I want to explore all of this room, if possible. Okay, I'm glad I came that way because that was a dead end otherwise. I thought that was another secret wall. Damn it. Hmm. Wasn't there more stuff back here, though? I don't think I... Yeah, yeah, we didn't go to the right there. I'm gonna see where that leads, if anywhere. Okay, just a few barrels that are unremarkable. I feel like if I missed uh, one of the kids, it would probably be in here or like the uh, woods, just because they could get kind of mazy. But I don't know. Oh, hey, it's rats again. Hi, guys. Cave rats. I'll let you guys do your thing. Is that your home? Pretty nice home. Later. Yeah, I won't kill the rats if I don't gotta. Rats ain't hurting nobody. The bats, on the other hand? Yeah, they hurting somebody. I wonder why rats and bats are like the most popular like enemies to have in a game. Is it because you can like make them quote unquote evil or is it something, is it some weird technical issue like uh, old games didn't have enough space to write long names so rats and bats were the most popular because they could just, it was just three letters. Obviously I don't think there's any, you know, virtue to that, that's just some dumb reason I just gave. What if, what if there is a weird technical reason for rats and bats being the most popular? I think it kind of just happened on its own, or it's like... Because, uh, it's, it's, it has something to do with, like, D&D &D and stuff, with rats and, uh, and bats being, like, some of the most common low-level enemies. I'm so sorry, rat. Because, yeah, I mean, I know that's usually, if there's a question I have about something in an RPG or JRPG, I can just be like, it's based off, it's, it's something to do with old D&D. &D. And that usually answers my question. For the most part. Since so, so many games take inspiration from D&D. &D. And if, uh, it's based off of D&D &D doesn't answer the question, then it's based off of Tolkien. It usually answers the question. The Tolkien-verse has really overtaken our fantasy media. Or, not overtaken it, but... Everything's inspired by it. Oh. was like... What was that? I heard a weird noise. I just got a spam call on my 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 work phone. Cause something was making a bunch of noise. I was like, "What? What is that?" <laughs> yeah, exactly, Arietta. What is this? What's this? 
Looks like pages from a journal. I guess they've fallen out. Property of Mine Supervisor Miles Melling, 1905. No wonder, this journal's really old. Let's see what it says. Wednesday, week 16, 1905. Everything is running smoothly. The mine is making a handsome profit this year. Last week we dug deep and ended up in a massive natural cave system. And what we found there... A huge silver vein! Biggest one so far. Headquarters even issued us some equipment to speed up the process. Among it, a brand new apparatus that is used to separate minerals from the ore. It's already making our work a whole lot easier, not to mention faster. Everyone is getting ready to wrap up the season already. Winter can't get here soon enough. A few of my best men have fallen ill and the work has stalled a bit. No worries, some of us just have to work extra shifts until this clears. That's... awful. But it was 1905, which is kind to be expected. Hope this doesn't turn into an epidemic, as that nasty flu did two seasons back. Two more have fallen ill. The infected have been evacuated due to the extremity of their symptoms. The workers who haven't been affected have become increasingly agitated and are having problems convincing them to stay. Makes sense. Our work binds us here. Should someone leave mid-season, they would face a massive fine for breaking the terms of the contract, and we are just poor miners. Leaving is not an option. Leaving is an option if all of you just leave at the same time. If all of you just leave at the same time, screw them! They can't- they can't find all of you. Well, they probably can't find all of you, but... Screw them. They'll be really, really fucked if all of their people just leave at once. And they'll probably, maybe, since that's so many people just giving up on a job, kind of, I don't know, make some incentives to bring you back. Terrible news. I received a letter that the evacuated workers have lost their lives to the sickness. What is this madness that has befallen us? Rumors have spread among the workers that it's somehow connected to the woman living in the woods. Minerva, I believe her name is. Apparently, they believe her to be a witch. That has cursed or poisoned us in some way. Have they forgotten that she has provided us with medicine and herbs throughout the years? Heck, she was the one who aided us through that epidemic from before. But in order to keep things under control, I have asked her to... not to come by anymore. It's a small price to pay to keep things calm here. Huh. Should this continue? Let's see if we can find more pages. It might give us some insight into what went down here. And I imagine that's probably our, uh... boss door. Right. I don't know why that's here. Did the miners build it? What's the deal with that? One down and one to go. And we go up here for this. <clears throat> so we still have a whole other half of the dungeon to go through. We might actually find that last kid. I don't think I can get down there. Not from here, at least. Doesn't seem like it? I, hmm. Yeah. No way, I see. Maybe we'll loop back around there later. That's all I can think of. Where are these walls that look like a secret wall? Damn you, wall that looks like a secret wall! How dare you! Nope, you're not hitting me, Bat. Good job wasting your time, though. Idiot. You don't. Boom. Deadzo. That should fill my thing. Oh yeah, room core filled. There we go. Activate that bad boy. Look at us, we got eight hots now. Nothing can defeat us. Okay, we need to be able to go through that. But there's like a lever I've gotta pull somewhere. Oh boy, this place is going to get real confusing real fast. There's a bunch of different, like, floors and stuff associated with this room. But, at least it's pretty linear, so we got that going for us. If it wasn't super linear, it would be a lot more annoying. Alright. Yeah. Okay, well, there's no reason to kill you guys now, but you're kind of in the way, so... It doesn't look like I'm gonna get another Roamer Core, so I guess I'm just done with killing enemies permanently. Permanently, unless the game makes me... 
fight an enemy. Oop. You're making me walk all the way back over there, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, if only I could, like, jump across this. <laughs> if it was, like, a one-way trip thing. It'd have been nice if they had, like, put a bridge there that, like, once you walk across it, it falls. So you can't go back that way or something. Just a little one-way fast travel for me. Alright. So I don't have to walk back through the rats. Oh well. It's fine. We just stepped in a lot of rat shit. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Goodbye. Alright. So... Let go. Kablooey. Kablooey. Kablooster. Alright. Still searching for this last kid. I'm not really sure where they're gonna be at this point. Can you, okay, look, guys, I'm sorry. Just get out of the way, please. I don't want to kill you. Basically just a bullet hell. With how many enemies are on screen and the fact that we actually take contact damage. Cruise quarters. Leave explosives outside. Okay. Is this where I'm going to find my mining helmet? Ari, heads up. More journal pages here. <clears throat> Seems to continue from the, where the last one ended. Multiple new infections and more casualties. I don't know what to do anymore. A few men also left, even though it broke the contract. There's only a handful of us left. The company has sent in a group of engineers to investigate the situation. Why would they send engineers into a situation like this? According to the medical report I received earlier, the infected have gone into a state of mental disarray. They suffer from paralysis and loss of vision until finally succumbing. Never have I heard of such terrible symptoms. Yeah, that would be awful. You can't move and then you lose your vision? Like, that's nuts. Yet the report is saying that the sickness is not of a contagious kind. And what on earth is causing it amongst us? Like, I don't have enough to worry about already. Some of the workers have been harassing Minerva, trying to spook her to leave the island. More than two-thirds of my workers have been affected. Our work moves at a snail's pace, yet we still stay behind. I contacted the headquarters and begged them to move all of us out until the situation clears. As they should! Stupid-ass corp. Don't care about their workers. I was not surprised with the answer. We are to stay here. They're even sending a few extra hands to get the production back on track. Are they mad? Group of engineers left suddenly, without even addressing me beforehand. Seems suspicious. I wonder if they found out something. The workers have been talking about driving this so-called witch off the island. Is this a bur- Well, I shouldn't say that because that's a, that's a spoiler, but... Is this like a weird scenario where you guys are like a ritualistic sacrifice for something deep in this cave and the corp knows about it? That's why they sent engineers to... Investigate something deeper in the cave and then just like mysteriously leave. You guys are being drained of your life force or some shit. Still don't believe Minerva has any part of this. Yet at the moment I'm too desperate to try anything. We will go to her cabin when the sun goes down. Darn, we're still missing pages. They must be somewhere around here. Minerva's connected to this, we need to find them. Alright, where's my headlamp? Where's my headlamp? Aw, oh, come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, well, thanks to the heart, I guess. Let me make sure it looks like what I what I think here. Items. Uh oh no, no, let me just ask. Uh I guess that kinda looks like it, right? Just the helmet. Yeah, I mean that that looks like it right there, but I can't I can't grab them. It must be a very specific one I've got to grab. One that maybe somehow possibly still has the light on or something. Dead. Boom. Alright. Let's keep exploring then. I hate to keep bringing up Stardew Valley, but this also just- Oh, that was the last kid! I heard it! Um, this also makes me think of the mines in Stardew Valley. And I don't, I, don't, I, I just hate, that is like the purest form of uh, 
praise I can give something. Really. Yes! I got them all! 20 out of 20! Yay! You were just hiding over here. I don't know how so many of you got into the damn mines, but... Whatever. <gasps> there it is! It's a gold one! Yes! Alright, now we've got all of Midri's items. We've got all of those. There's like, straight up no reason for me to even inspect a lot of the things in these rooms now. Because I have all of the collectibles in the game now. I have all those, I have all those, I have all those. And it seems like they're kind of railroading us to, um... Uh, the journal pages, so I don't have to worry about missing any of those. Alright, let's get out of here. We can... Just go now. Oop, heart. Heart, I said, damn it. I'm so used to having iframes. I like try to dodge everything like I have iframes, but that's not possible. Run. Huh. Ah. We'll do it. We'll do it. Come on. Just keep going. Just, yeah, they know how hard this is. They give you like a billion hearts coming through here. They know this stuff's rough. Huh. Eh. Huh. Anything up here? What is this? This the way out? Because there was another path, but... Eh, I think this was the way out. I don't really need to fight you, dude. Later! Aha! There we go. And we get the rope ladder and everything. Well, this is nice. Looks like, uh, I'm gonna do everything there is to do here. The door's open. Can you get down here? Just a second. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of expected to get more spirits in the game than just Arco. I don't know, I thought I would get like multiple and they would give me new abilities or something, but so far it just seems like Arco, which isn't a horrible thing, mind you. Um, I just expected like to get like, I don't know, multiple spirits. We had like a motley crew of allies that were hanging around with us. Oh yeah, this is that place I saw. Boss fight time? Oh my god, hi! Wow, you're like a giant frog. Well, well. So you're the human that's been rummaging around my halls. Didn't expect you to be a little girl. And a spirit guide, too. Isn't that sweet? You guys running low on recruits for listing someone so young, or what? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I must thank you for bringing the conduit to me personally. But I'm also guessing it was because of you that it didn't fall into our hands before. We've been craving a new source of energy. There's no way I'm giving it to you. <sighs> Shut it. This mine does not belong to you humans anymore. Then these halls you will do as you are told. Now, hand over the ring and I might just let you leave this place. This is no play- What? Huh? What's that? What is that? Is it a phone? Is your ringtone going off? Whoops, sorry. It's my phone. <laughs> yep. Hi, Dad. Ah, oh, sweetie. You having a good time? Guess what your mother found? Box full of old board games. Want to join us? You know what they say, the more the merrier. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Maybe later? <laughs> this is hilarious. Oops. Um, Ari. I think he's starting to look kind of mad. Okay, talk to you later, Dad. Sorry about that. Now we're... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Interrupting the boss with a phone call. Such insolence. I was actually going to let you leave. But for that, I'm going to drain you both dry instead. Alright. Um, later? Oh god, what is that? Okay, I don't see a way to attack you, really. Can't hit those. Oh. 
Oh, and then, yeah, there we go. Okay, so you fire a projectile at me, and then I just gotta knock it back. Okay, you seem easier than the last guy so far, at least. Because it's just... Dodge the fire... Until you shoot out a projectile that I can smack back at you. It is pretty cool that you're a giant, like, toad, basically. Oh, jeez. That was my bad. I screwed it up. Can you shoot another one, please? Oh, we gotta do that again if I miss it. I was still dodging, like, these things. I wasn't ready for them to actually shoot. Okay, so I think it's three, and then you shoot, right? Ooh, yeah. Maybe you should stop shooting those, idiot. But no boss across time has ever learned that maybe they should stop giving you access to the thing that kills them. <laughs> they always just keep shooting it. Oh, now we gotta deal with these two. Okay, that adds a bit more to the situation, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Yeah, these things uh, definitely add a bit of difficulty here. Oh god, now they're shooting more. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're shooting even more now. That's actually pretty spooky. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. One more and I should be good. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Alright. This is doable. This is very doable, but are you gonna get even harder now? You hit a second phase. Do you have a third phase? Do these things start to shoot even more? Okay, you're shooting them faster now, like the little fire things. Which is cool with me, actually, because that gets me to the point where I can actually hurt you faster. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, that was a hairy situation I got myself into. Alright, cool. Now... Boom. Gotcha! Can't believe it. Bested by a kid. No matter. We were done, done here anyway. Please. Tell us what happened here. Find out for yourselves. This is the first time we've actually seen a rumor that can talk, right? That's humans for you. Did it all to themselves, stupid beings. We merely took over when they were gone. But enjoyed every little bit of the ones who got left behind. Yeah, ha ha ha. What unlocked. So I don't get a rumor core for you, though. Which is funny, because you'd expect you of all would give me a rumor core. What did I get, though? A spirit droplet. Ooh, maximum spirit energy. Ooh, that's cool. When the roamers arrived, there were human spirits here. Don't tell me. They devoured them, used them as energy, and multiplied. That's why their presence on the island was so strong. But with him gone, the remaining roamers will surely start to dissipate. This region will be free of them, all thanks to you. But we still don't know the cause of the epidemic, and what Minerva's true connection to all of this is. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Guess we will. Yeah, so I got I got that now. Awesome. So we have four of those now, which is fantastic, because that shield is really good. There's the last journal. Or the, the whole journal. We were just finding pages. The last missing pages of the journal. What have we done? The situation at the cabin got out of hand. We arrived in the darkness of the night. Minerva was asleep. Suddenly a few of my men barricaded the door, then one of them set the whole cabin ablaze. I can still hear her screaming in my ears. We were supposed to drive her away, not do this. God, that is really messed up. Has really messed up. Being burned alive <clears throat> is not a good thing. Being burned alive is a horrible thing, and then it's... I mean, this is basically, you know, a classic witch hunt, because they actually believe she's a witch. 
Now the only thing that can bring peace to my, peace to my mind is that the spreading of the sickness will finally stop. And all the talk of her being a witch will turn out to be true after all. It won't stop. At the moment, everyone remaining is showing symptoms, including me. On top of that, I received a letter today. It was sent off the record from one of the engineers who were ordered here before. Apparently, the new machinery we had received earlier had not been properly tested. In fact, our mine had been selected to be the test subject. I was wondering if that was the case. According to the letter, the silver ore we dig contains small amounts of mercury. Yep. Y'all getting, like, mercury poisoning? A highly toxic metal that normally wouldn't be much of a concern to us. However, in the process of extracting the materials, the machine releases the mercury as vapor in the air. Which we ended up breathing. That's what made us sick. Mercury poisoning. Now they're just sweeping this whole incident under the rug as a failed experiment. All those good men dead in the name of greed. Das Capitalism! This will probably be my final entry. While we still had the strength, we bombed all the mineshafts shut and destroyed every single one of those damned machines. Curse to hell with this place. All we can do now is to wait for the end. I don't know what's going on or what's real anymore. We were sick and dying, yet now we are back on our feet again. Tried to leave, but cannot find our way out. From our own mind. Corridors seem to stretch endlessly, and we only end up going in circles. Some claim to have seen beings lurking in the shadows, constantly stalking us. Is this the price we pay for our sins? Yeah, you're- no matter what a corporation says or a company says, they don't care about you, and they're really just concerned with their bottom line. <laughs> so... Yeah. Don't put too much faith in them. Okay, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Yeah, this is an incred incredibly depressing area. Truth behind these happenings is rarely very pretty. <clears throat> Wait. If we take this journal to Minerva and let her read it, it might help her cross over, right? Well, yeah, maybe. But such a head-on approach might have its risks. Although, I really cannot think of any other way to help her. It's terrible, the sudden realization that you're actually dead. Having been killed in such an awful way. Even in all of this, maybe we could at least help her. Then we'll do it. I know you said this wouldn't be easy. Let's get out of here. I don't want to spend another second in this place. We got a lot of awards. I wonder, could we finish the game this episode? Because if we could, it... I, I didn't expect to, but if we could, it could be very ideal for my recording schedule. It's dark already? Put my phone on silent mode after Dad called. Oh, crap. Mom has tried to call like 20 times. I need to get back to the cabin right away. Oh, jeez. What happened? That's never what you want to see, like 20 missed calls from a parent or something. Arietta! Where on earth have you been the whole day? Why weren't you answering your phone? I was looking everywhere for you. We were getting really worried. I'm sorry, Mom. I completely lost track of time. Okay, at least you guys are okay. I thought like a giant roamer was attacking or some shit. Don't be so hard on her. <clears throat> At least she's spending some time outside. Welcome change from playing video games all the time. Come on, screw you with that shit. Screw you, my parents always did that shit too. And look at me, I turned out fine. You must be starving. We already ate, but I'll reheat some supper for you. Hey, how about we try those board games now? I'd really rather go turn in all these collectible things that I got to Midri and the mom, the slime mom. Dad fell asleep in the chair, as per usual. Ari, listen to me. You really had me worried today. I don't want you wandering far anymore. It could be dangerous. Tomorrow you'll stay near the cabin. Promise? Promise. Well, that'll, uh, really mess up our ability to be a, a bound. We can't really go fix anything if we can't leave. Hey, this is like, uh, what, day three now or something? Things are going to be a lot more interesting once we leave this place because 
I feel like the reason we can stand being abound here is because there's not a lot of people here. But once we go back to like a big city or something, won't there be like tons of people and tons of roamers and tons of spirits and everything? Uh, final pages. Complete the journal. Okay, it seems like I have like three more awards to get. And three more bosses to fight, possibly. Okay, so yeah. I don't know, maybe we won't be able to finish it today. Be quiet and let your dad sleep. Worked really hard in the garden yesterday. Alright. But wait, isn't it morning? It is. Okay. Well, I don't know where we're going or what we're doing now. Oh, look at the perfect garden. You did a really good job with it. Yeah, you did a really good job with it. We got some turnips, some... Cabbage, and carrots. That's what I'm gonna go with. Alright, let's go up here and turn these things in, right? So they were up here, weren't they? Thought your mother asked you to stay near the cabin. You should do as she says. But weren't we supposed to give the journal to Minerva? This is something I have to do. I'll come back right after I've taken care of it. Ari, wait. And there she goes again. Uh-huh. So, yeah, this takes me right out where you guys are. Cool. Alright, I got your stuff. Looks like you found the third item. That I did. It's called a kite. Wind carries it into the sky. Looks a bit run down. I'll probably sell it as a display item. Have anything else? Take a look at your blah 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 blah. That must be the fourth item. It's a mining helmet. It helps you see in the dark, but more importantly, it protects your head from falling debris. Huh. So not only is it awesome looking, but it's useful too. Fashion items usually fetch the highest price. It's not exactly a fash... Uh, never mind. That's it. That's all the items. Major the Merchant is once again stocked with the finest wares on this side of the spirit realm. Promised you a bonus, and you have most definitely earned it. Here, I will lend you some of my energy. I'm sure, it will help you with the hardships that lie ahead. Ah, cool, it's one of those. It's a spirit droplet. Maximum spirit energy has been increased. What is this? This was, like, sparkling, so I was like, is this something? But no. Okay, so... Yeah, that's... One of the awards, of course it is. Oh, that's one of the ones I thought was, like, a boss. Turn all the Midri's lost items. Okay, so... Yeah, and then we got all of you. All my precious baby cubs are back. How could I ever thank you enough? Oh, I know. I'll lend you some of my energy. It will surely help you in the path ahead. Okay, cool. So, just two of those. Which is good, because now we have bukus of spirit energy. So, that's another one of the awards. That was that one. So, yep. So, there's, like, one weird secret one that we haven't gotten. Um, and then there's some story ones and a boss fight one, it looks like. So. Caution, do not enter here without a proper light source. Yeah. Goodbye, children. Alright, well, let's go turn this into Minerva. Like I said, it would be good for my schedule if I could finish this today. Obviously, I'm not, you know, rushing the game or anything, seeing as I've gotten, like, all of the side content done, but, uh... It would still be pretty good if I could finish it today. Because I- there's a lot of stuff coming out that I want to play, and... The more- the more games I finish, the more things I can play! Which means more LPs. And honestly, just a glut of content. <laughs> eh? Eh, okay, we're, we're doing it. Yeah, and then down here, die. Okay, yeah, and I think this is the screen where uh, your house actually is. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Hello. I am here. Oh, hi, Arietta. What brings you here? 
Hi, Minerva. Is everything okay? You look a bit gloomy. I... I went to the mine yesterday. And I found this. I thought I told you to stay away from that place. Hmm, what's this? A journal? Why are you giving me this? Property of Miles Melling. I know him. He runs the mine. Don't tell me you stole this. What's this now? Huh? A cabin burned to the ground? My... my cabin? Do you have any recollection of what happened? <clears throat> no Of course not. Why, why would I? I... It can't be true. I was sleeping. And I woke up. How is it possible? I remember it. There was a fire. And I couldn't get out. There was smoke everywhere. Everything was burning. Oh, I don't want to see this. Uh, I can't get out. Why can't I get out? Ari, run. Now. Oh, jeez. I can't breathe. It burns. Help me. Please make it stop. It burns. Oh, God. That's horrible. And now we're stuck in here, too. Big vibrate on my controller. Are we good? I'm a bit concerned. Okay, apparently we are alive. What is this? Are we in the spirit world, though? Ah. Uh. Where? Where am I? Ari? Arco? Ari, can you hear me? Where are you? I can't see you. What's happening? Calm down. I'm contacting you through the ring. See? Letting Minerva read that journal might not have been the best idea after all. Her whole world literally came crashing down just now. Moving on to the afterlife along with the whole cabin. Oh, we're in the afterlife. And, uh, you. What? Am I d dead? No, no. With you stuck inside the cabin, you just, uh, slipped through the cracks a bit. You're in a place known as the Sunken Realm. There's a plane that exists beneath, well, everything. The good news is you're still technically on the island. The bad just really, really deep in another level of existence. Ari, listen closely. The place you are in is dangerous. I need to get you out of there as soon as possible. First of all, I need to get to you. It's a relief you have the ring. Conduit's power will lead me straight to you. It will take me some time, though, so I need you to bear with me. Even a conduit as powerful as this is barely able to hold a connection back home. It's going to take a lot of energy to make the trip. What should I do? You should keep on the move. Your presence there will draw some unwanted attention towards you. Although we are still bound, our connection is very weak due to the distance between us. Therefore, I cannot aid you in combat in any way. So for the moment, you are on your own. 
But you're strong, I know you can do this. Now get moving. And hold on, I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, this is a very pretty area. And at least I know there's nothing hidden here. Because uh, I've gotten everything in the game, it seems. This may be our final dungeon, actually. <clears throat> like, maybe we'll go back after this. Maybe we'll even see Grandma here? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know why I went up here. There's no reason. There's not going to be anything up there, actually. Alright. Let's just stay on the critical path. Sunken spirit. So yeah, you're the, you're the guys I fought before. Or, or I, like, were in my dream or whatever. Ow. Yeah, there's just a lot of you guys. Go away, spirits. Go away, away. I have no time for dealing with you. Boy, is there a lot of you. Oh my god, there's like four just on that screen. They kind of just float towards you sort of haphazardly though, so it's not the biggest deal. They look like Shuppets from Pokemon. Thought I noticed a strange energy within us. Huh, who's there? Hello? Uh, why are you walking now? You won't run? Is it gonna be revealed that like, all the generations of our family have been bound? But no, because our grandma didn't know anything about it. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, Ari. Arco told you to stay on the move. Yeah, perk up, please. I want to be able to dodge roll. Oh, God! Found yourself a little astray in your travels, little one. I don't see your spirit guide anywhere. Don't tell me you're here all by yourself. Oh, this is too good. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. It's you, from the mine. How are you here? Oh, it is you, yeah. Oh, I guess your spirit guide didn't tell you everything. All the rumors you have destroyed in your little adventure are now here. Stranded in the sunken realm for all eternity. Yeah. As are you. Okay, we got another boss fight against you. It sucks that I got all those upgrades from my ability, but I can't use it. Um, no? Yeah, ha, ha. End of the road. Ari, I see you. Yeah! Kablushi! Uh-uh. Grr, you annoying little pest. Do not think this is over. Okay. Are you our final boss, I wonder? Uh, Arco? Are you okay? That's... that's my line. I'm okay, just need a second. It was way more taxing to get here than I thought. Thank you. Without you, I would've... You can thank me later, once we get out of here. It was the same rumor from the mine. But it looks so different. Sorry I didn't tell you this before. Any being that wholly loses their energy in the spirit realm ends up down here. Even human spirits? I'm afraid so. We need to move. It will come after us again. With more of those sunken roamers, no doubt. What should we do? Come on, I'll show you something. What are you going to show me? Look, see that light? Way over there in the distance. Uh... Yeah. I see it. What is that? 
It's a vortex of pure energy. Even in the deepest and darkest of places, the energies that flow through the realms flow through here as well. And that's our ticket out of here. We might need some outside help to pull this one off. Huh? Come on, let's make our way towards it. Okay, let's keep going. I imagine we're gonna have to fight that boss again, right? It's gonna be different this time. Since they're not in frog form. Sunken rumor. You're just the... The one kind, aren't you? The kind I fought earlier, just kind of leave a trail. Yeah, that's basically all you are. So you're no different. Still sunken spirits, though. Oh god, and then these guys. Okay, well this is hairy. Oh, there's a lot going on in here, actually. Jeez. Okay, let me just grab this. Now I'm happy I got all that, uh, spirit energy. Look at that, I can just block all those things. <clears throat> That's a big tree. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. None of that. None of that. Pretty sure their projectiles are gonna, yep, make it to me anyway. Jeez, those things are home from so far. <laughs> it's nuts how far they'll actually follow you. Craziness. Ow. So far this isn't so bad, though. Just gotta juke and jive. Boom, boom. No hearts for me. Wow, they're really skimping on the hearts, actually. Uh, ah. Thought I would make it past there. So many of you guys. Uh. Yep, this is spooky. For sure. Seems like as long as I'm careful though, I don't really ever have to worry about getting hit by anything. And I definitely get enough hearts running through here to allow for a few screw-ups. There are a lot of projectiles flying through here. This must be right before the boss fight or something? They're giving me way too many bushes. Yeah, look at how many bushes we're getting. That's a boss fountain. Yup. This is as far as you will go. There is no way you can beat us in here. And there is no way for you to escape either. Alright, let's go, nerd. Okay, ow. Boom. 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 Okay. I, I thought I hit you enough, damn it. Die. Okay, how do we... How do we actually kill you? I don't know how to actually harm your ass. My god, you tracking idiot. No? Yeah, I like, can't damage you by just hitting you. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Oh god. Well, wow, I didn't know it was gonna spawn right there, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know the vortex was gonna spawn there. It caught me like immediately because I had no idea. Damn it, it's so hard to react to that sometimes. Ugh. At least that enemy dropped a heart for me. It was very, very appreciated. Get out of the center because that's apparently where that spawns. Uh, uh, excuse me? Holy shit! Wait, what just- what- What do you want me to do here? Ow, my god, what is happening? Jesus Christ! There's so much going on in this fight! Okay, that did two whole damage at least. I was about to say, wait, I gotta do this how many times? It's very easy to take damage when you're constantly shooting nukes down and filling the screen with bullets. My god. Okay. Okay, I feel like we can do it now, especially now that- Oh my god, these stupid shits, dude. It's so easy to miss your attack, and then the enemy just hits you anyway. It's so easy. I really wish I had some sort of ranged attack, even if it used, like, my magic or something. 
to be so nice. No. Uh-uh. I refuse. Give me a heart. Uh What the hell? What? <laughs> I was rolling as much as I could, and that shit just pulled me in anyway. Damn it. Oh man, this is actually hard. Here we go. Your friends are dead. No. Okay, just keep rolling in a cardinal direction apparently, but also I gotta do dodge this stupid shrapnel that you keep shooting. This seems like the best way, just hug the wall. Basically. Okay. This definitely feels like final boss material, because, yeah, this is wildly difficult. Oh my god! <laughs> the mortars are the problem. Straight up. The mortars are definitely, definitely the problem. Because they just, like, if you're sitting there using your shield, they home in on you, like, constantly. So, if you just sit there and guard with your shield, you're going to get hit by them. Because when your shield goes off, it's just gonna... What? I really thought I was in range to hit you there. Okay, apparently I've got to be a lot closer. Oh my god, this this fight is a little ridiculous. This fight is a little ridiculous. Going to be honest. Like, there's just so many things that can kill me. So easily, and I only get 4 HP. I have all of the HP upgrades. And everything, but... I don't know, man. I just don't know. And this thing... Oh my god, it's so dangerous. <sighs> oh my god. It is- there, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like these mortars and everything. Huh. <sighs> okay, charge it up, shoot it at me, please. Oh my god, I'm really glad I got all those upgrades for my meter. This would be incredibly hard if I only had like four, which is what I think I would have if I hadn't done all the secret ones. Okay, what do we got this time? Where are you guys? There you go. Oh my god, an HP. I need that! Damn it! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Don't want to have to do it again. Please. How is that not hitting? I was, like, right in front of it, swinging my sword like crazy. Die! Please die! Oh my god, and then the projectile gets me anyway. Ugh. HP. HP! Oh my god, more! Really? Oh, but no, you- I- you I didn't finish you. You still had HP left. Ugh. Ugh, this is stressful. This is stressful. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my god, just die. No! I'm not going in that. I'm not. And preferably, I won't get hit by any of these mortars either. There's just so many sources of damage in this fight. It's so crazy. It's so easy to take hits. I have like, all of the upgrades and this is still difficult. <laughs> oh god. And I'm not even playing on the hardest difficulty, mind you. I'm playing on like normal- wait, that mortar hit hurt me through my shield? Or did I let my shield down too early? Okay. Ugh. Die. Oh my god. Screw you, dude. You were actually hard. This is all normal. You're strong. I'll give you that. But it's time to stop playing games. The good thing about being stranded in the sunken realm is that in here, I'm invincible. <clears throat> we are invincible. Ari, watch out. Oh boy. How long can you keep it up, though? We only have so much meter. How does it feel, spirit guide? Feeling a bit empty yet? <laughs> Ari, I'm sorry. I can't hold on anymore. But I can still help you. I will release all the energy I have left. 
It'll clear the way so you can escape. What? Arco, no! We're getting out of here together! Oh. Ari, please listen to me. It's the only way. I won't let him get to you. Oh, the sprite breaking apart! No, Arco! Escape this place. Arco! No! Goodbye, friend. I guess this means we're no longer abound, right? Like that, Marco. 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 I still feel like we should be- we should be getting out of here. Oh, the wooden sword's not a conduit anymore. Why? I cannot do this on my own. Please, help me. Don't leave me alone. Spirits? Huh? Wh what Follow. Uh, hey, w wait up! I wonder if that was actually the final boss and we're just gonna, like, get cutscenes now. Cause if so, this might actually be it. Be a bit of a long episode, though. Please, slow down. I can't keep up. On your feet. It is coming. Yeah, you better run. That's what I was saying. Okay. Uh, yep, keep rolling. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, just keep rolling, rolling, rolling! Okay, I think I rolled too much, so I got tired and was actually not making quick progress. I think that's what happened there. I was like spam rolling too much and it caused some issues. Please slow down, can't keep up. All right, yep, just keep rolling, just keep running. I'll roll a little bit, but I imagine we're mostly just supposed to, uh, do the other thing. That's where it caught up with me. Uh, oh god. Uh, okay. Uh, how, how god is catching up? Can we not? Can we not? Can we not and say we did? What the hell, that knockback! Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That knockback, man. Jesus, it's just a ghost, man. It, it doesn't have to knock you back 60 feet like you got punched in the face by a dump truck. I don't even know how a dump truck punches you, but... Uh, Jesus. Oh my god, it knocks me back so far. Uh, so far, it knocks me back. Uh, okay, we made it. Whew. <laughs> you get knocked back so far by those guys. It's spooky. Award unlocked? What is that award? Don't know. Probably just for beating the final boss? Arietta. Arietta. 
Arietta. Wake up, Arietta. Uh, Arco? I'm sorry, dear. But you need to wake up. Yeah, I thought it was my mom. Grandma? Someone's car alarm is going off outside. Thank you for that. Okay, maybe not my mom. Uh, she's here. I found her. Let's say, is that my dad? <laughs> but no. Hey, are you okay? This island has police. Weird to think about since we've never seen a town. Don't worry. We're gonna take you back to your parents. Oh, and that's another award. Okay, I think I'm missing like one now? Yeah, this seems like that was actually the final boss, and we're just going to be on a on a cutscene spree here. Uh, I do think the one award I'm missing... I saw a Steam review... Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, I saw a Steam review say that um, one of the awards that they didn't get was beating the game on Insane. Which is not going to happen for me, because normal was <laughs> stressful enough. But yeah, this was really, really fun. This is... Really, really good. This is why I like indie games. There's so many little hidden gems like this that fly under the radar and people never get to experience. And this just had like a very nice, wholesome story about kind of dealing with loss and things that happened in your life and everything. It's, it's always a really nice kind of story and I like it. And the idea of us being like able to traverse the worlds and interact with that and everything was really cool. The game played really, really well and everything. If I would say the only things that I, I would really add, if I was going to add something to the game, would be a map. And it seems like you're kind of stuck in place after you use the shield, which can make some of the fights a little hard because you can't dodge immediately after using it. Because, like, you have to, like, I guess, like, Arietta kind of, like, hunches over when you use the shield because she's, like, hiding in it. And I think she has to, like, get back up after you use it. So there's a bit of cooldown before you can actually do something again after you take the shield off. Um, and I took a lot of damage because of that, but maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Because I guess it would be kind of broken if you could just shield and then immediately dodge. But, um, yeah, this was really good. The art and music and everything was fantastic. Wait, three years later? Oh boy. We're 16? She was, or no, 17. She was like 13 or 14, I think. Yep, the sword's still on the wall and we're back in the city. Arco's back, and she kept the sword, and of course the ring. Oh, oh, that's a good ending. I like that. Yeah, what a sweet little game. I when I played the demo for this originally, I was like, I mean, <laughs> I've played the demo and backed so many like Zelda-like and action adventure games on Kickstarter um, that every single time I see one of these, I usually want to do an LP of it. Um, in fact, Ocean's Heart, one of the other Zelda likes I played, was easily one of my most popular LPs. Which I really didn't expect, but... Yeah, they're just... I don't know, they're feel-good games, and this one definitely kept that along. It had a bit more story than those games usually do. Usually those games go for a more fantasy setting, and usually have a more like, there's a nihilist antagonist that wants to destroy the world, bop bop bop. But this game took more like a personal approach with the story, which I I thought was pretty nice, like 
I guess you could say the roamers were the antagonist, but like not every game needs an overarching antagonist. Some games can just let you experience a story and it'd be like the personal trauma of various characters and getting over that and everything. Because I would say this game didn't really have an antagonist. And I think it's probably better for that because if they revealed at some point that, you know, there was a, a, a big bad evil roamer or something and I have to defeat the big bad evil roamer because the big bad evil roamer is like around and stuff. Like, I feel like that would have trivialized it a bit. I think there's also something to say about we didn't we didn't defeat the roamers. The roamers are still there. The roamers are something that the world has to accept and is going to have to deal with. We helped people move on, but we didn't actually do anything about the overarching threat and I feel like not enough games show that sometimes you you can't change how the world works and it's going to be like that. Too many too often with like you know JRPGs and stuff, it's like let's go defeat God, but it's like Sometimes you you can't change the natural order of things, and that's kind of something that's nice about this. Uh, it's telling me to press A. I think the credits just restarted. Um, I'm I'm pressing A, but nothing's happening. Uh, enter. There we go. Okay, my my control just wasn't working. Congratulations for finishing the game. The extreme difficulty. Oh, that's it. The extreme difficulty mode is now available. Okay. But yeah, not enough games are like, you know, you, you held the enemies back, but they're still going to be there. They're a part of life. And I feel like that's something else that the game is about. It's, you know, about letting go, coming to terms with the afterlife and everything, which is always a good message. And it's just something that you have to, you know, kind of learn to accept. Overall, a very good game. The storytelling and everything was much better than I thought it was going to be. And just all, all around a feel-good adventure, so. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Arietta of Spirits, and I'll see you next time for something new.